Hi, my name is Vicki Flower and I'm head blogger at Social Media Zone uh, brought to you by compro.biz. Today I'm going to talk about the connection between social media and SEO. This is a topic I'm particularly interested in and I've spent a lot of time at, so um, we're going to cover some things that maybe you haven't considered. When you start developing your blurbs, your social media blurbs, be that Twitter, Facebook, whatever, there's a couple things that you can do that will really make it a much more leveraged situation for you and basically use keywords. Now that may seem really obvious, but people ask me all the time, what, do you, what should I tweet about? What should I talk about? Um, how should I say it? What should I do? Um, a couple things. First, I make, when I started out in social media, I made a list of 30 to 50 keyword terms. Now those keyword terms included things like uh, what I do, the solutions I provide, you know, the pain points for my customers, uh, words that describe my customers, words that described uh, people I work with, words that describe the service I provide or the um, products I provide. Also, I included things that, about my values. I ha believe in philanthropy. I am active in literacy. Um, advocacy and those things are important to me and the reason why I included them even if, with even companies right companies have values too so this isn't just about a personal brand but a corporate brand as well um, when you begin to develop a 3d sort of holographic image of what your company or you are, are like what you're about you know that's going to be helpful but here's the thing for instance today I talked at an Austin and women uh, Austin women in tech a conference about strategic alliances now if someone tweeted me and they did they said Vicki I really loved your talk uh, smart woman that's that's my moniker online smart woman I really loved your talk thanks very much now you could just reply back assuming you're listening and you should be you could just reply back and say oh thanks very much I'm glad you enjoyed my talk but there, that's not really keywords right uh, in this talk is what you do which you might but what I would do instead is I would reply back to that person say, thank you so much for being at the tech conference. I enjoyed speaking about strategic alliances. I love being a social media person, right? Now, I'd have to tweak on that and make sure it was only 120 characters to make it retweetable. But from the truth of it is, Twitter and all the other social media, YouTube is a good example of social media, uh, it's completely totally search engine based. So start thinking of it not as a megaphone, but as a town square. And start thinking it of uh, helping individuals find you by providing context, and that's what keywords do. So if you're a marketer, you'd use that term. If you, you are an advertiser, you would use terms, banner ads, click impressions. Uh, if you're an SEO person, you would use those words, right? And do it casually, speak human, do it naturally, so don't cater completely to the search aspect, but it's a great way for you to get out your values, get out your services, and casually uh, provide enough content that pretty soon uh, you're hitting what I call your one note, that one thing that people know you're about, because isn't that what a brand is anyways? Your brand isn't your logo. Your brand isn't what you say about it, it's what other people say about it. And when they go, you know, that smart woman, she's always talking about marketing, she's always talking about entrepreneurship, she, she knows about branding, those kinds of things, right? It adds up and, and whatever yours is, depending upon the words you choose and the, depending upon the importance of those words to your clients and your demographic, you're going to get noticed if you pretend that your social media is one big SEO opportunity. That's what I'd recommend you do. This is Vicki Flower with Social Media Zone, brought to you by compro.biz. Thanks for dropping by.